Welcome to Phone Rescue Experts. In this video, I'm going to show you how I clean an iPhone 11 CNC board step by step to prepare it for a CPU swap. This exact method works for any CNC board, whether it's an iPhone 10, 11, 12, 15, or even the latest models. So, let's get started. First, we have to apply flux over the CPU area. This is really important because it softens the leftover adhesive, the gum or glue that's left behind after the CNC machine drills out the CPU. Without flux, cleaning this stuff is way harder and riskier for the board. Then we have to apply 128 low temperature solder paste. This paste helps us lower the heat needed when working with the iron, so we don't risk damaging the board. Once that's on, I start using the iron slowly, working across the surface bit by bit. I'm not rushing here, just enough movement and heat to melt and pull away the old gum stuck to the CPU area. After we've cleaned the surface with the iron, this helps absorb the remaining paste and cleans the pads nicely. It also flattens everything out, so we're left with a smooth, even surface. Then we have to focus on the sides of the CPU area, and this part is where we need to be extra careful. Around the edges, there are small components, resistors, capacitors, transistors, and these are super easy to damage if we try using the iron directly. So instead, we have to switch to a hot air gun. I set it to 200 degrees with 60 airflow, enough to soften the gum without pushing components off. Then I use a curved precision tool to gently remove the gum from the sides. This gives me better control and keeps the components safe. After that, once the sides are clean, we go back in and apply flux again. Then we add a bit more 128 solder paste and use the iron carefully to clean the edge prints. These are the tiny prints where the CPU legs will sit, and they need to be clean and flat. Then we go over the entire area one last time using the solder wick. This final pass ensures that everything is clean, level, and completely ready for the new CPU. At this point, the board is fully prepped. No gum, no residue, and all pads and edges are clean. It's ready for the next stage, placing and soldering the new CPU. So that's how we do it here. This cleaning technique works across all iPhone CNC boards and saves a lot of time and trouble when done right. If you found this helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with someone who's into board repair or microsoldering. You can find more tutorials like this on the channel. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching.